This morning, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we remain standing, let me give God praise and thanks for all those that are in His presence this morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. My wife is not here with me this morning. She has another appointment this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord and uh, praise the Lord. She will be heading to a wicked church this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. But she told me to make sure that I extend her love to each of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, she's looking forward to see all, all, all those who are supposed to be at that meeting on tomorrow night. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She will be with you on tomorrow night. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. 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 This morning, we for the living, we know that we are working with time. Praise the name of the Lord. Time is so precious to us. Praise the name of the Lord. The little that is given to us by our local authority. Praise the Lord. And then, as we get ready to hear from the truth of God, I want you to keep your spirits open. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I have one with me today. Praise the name of the Lord. Who would have fellowship here for... Um, my God, I should say, from the beginning of his of his um, Christian life, and uh, he would have been, and uh, some of you may have known him here, even on the drums, um, one of the best, and also on the guitar, very good um, guitarist. Um, will he to the new Christian ministry today? Praise the name of the Lord. He is not. Um, he's not with the new Christian ministry, but he's affiliated or part of us. Amen. Yeah. He is on his own in Tobago, and uh, we have him here. who will share with us this morning and praise the name of the Lord. And we want to give him a, a few minutes to share with us this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Help me welcome. Praise the name of the Lord. Ask the Lord. Help me to share with us for a few minutes. This morning, praise the Lord, bless the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, bless the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. And uh, I ministered in Aruka 
last week Sunday, and I think it is going to be fair what I shared across there that I share across here as well because we are one body, amen, just different branch, bless God. And what we want to touch on this morning, the mark of a Christian, and we want to touch on mercy, hallelujah, mercy, you can write that down this morning, hallelujah. The mark of a Christian, we are looking at mercy. One of the natures of God is he is a merciful God, hallelujah, full of mercy and compassion. And I want us to look very quickly at Psalms 145. Let's go. Psalms 145. We want to read verse 8 to 9. When found, we can all say amen. Hallelujah. It says, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great, what? Great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. So we see he is a, a merciful God. I also want us to look at Psalms 89. Hallelujah. Psalms 89. Verse 14. Hallelujah. It says, Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Again, we see here, he is a what? A merciful God. And God also wants us, hallelujah, his children to be merciful. And, and when we make mention of being merciful, we are speaking of extending mercy to others. Amen. Extending, having compassion, my God. We, we, we want to look at uh, Proverbs 11. Just giving us all these scriptures uh, as I build this foundation. Proverbs 11, verse 17. It says, The merciful man doeth good to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. You hear that? It says what? It says, The merciful man doeth good to his own soul. He that hath mercy, my God. He that showeth mercy. It says, He doeth good, my God, to his own own soul. But it goes further to say, but he that is cruel hmm, troubleth his own flesh. That means, hallelujah, if you are an individual, a child of God, and you cannot show mercy, don't expect favor to follow you. You didn't hear that. It's not what I say it says about it's what the word of God said. It said, it said but he that is cruel troubling his own soul. Don't expect that to follow you. If you cannot extend mercy, hallelujah, to individuals, especially when they're wrong here. Yeah. When they do you wrong, you don't know what she do me. You don't know what he do me. And you cannot extend mercy, forgiveness. The Bible did mention you are troubling your own flesh. My God, hmm. you must show mercy as a child of God. Let me show you another portion of scripture very quickly. And Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3, we're looking at 3 to 4. Verse 3 and verse 4. It says, Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. <laughs> Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor. Wow. And good. 
good understanding in the sight of God and man. I want to read that again, you know. It says, saints, get this, get this, get this. It says, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. It goes further to say, bind them about thy neck. You can imagine that. Almighty God, his word is saying, mercy, bind it around your neck. <laughs> that is how, uh, how important as a child of God, how important it is to demonstrate mercy. It says the why the Bible didn't make mention uh, to, to, to hold it in your hands. Yeah? It says bind it. You know, you, you know what is the bind? Bind it around your neck. My God. Hmm. It says bind it about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart. Hey, get this now. It says, so shall thou find favor. <laughs> no, you are not getting this. You are not, no, 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 no. It's, Sister V, it says, so you will get favor in the eyes of God and man. Things will work for you. You, 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 you understand this? Say to God, I know, my God, uh, that mercy has been put across to us as, as, as somewhat um, an individual being weak. You see? Because, because, well, you know, you're, you're, you're sore or you're petty and, and, and they look at it like that because you are a, a person that does extend mercy to others. Individuals tend to look at you as a, as a person, you know, you're sore, you're, you're, you're And when he saw him, 
he passed by on the other side. Imagine that. A priest, a pastor, a man of God <laughs> ah, is walking in that same direction. See a wounded man on cross, no compassion, no mercy. He's busy going about his merry own way. The Bible continues to say, verse 32, And likewise a Levi, when he was at the place, came and looked on him. You see? Looked on him and passed by on the other side. And, and, and the Levi, hallelujah, is what we will consider a deacon in, in our time. Levites back then, they were uh, those that would have taken you know, charge of, of spiritual things, whether, whether the, the, the temple was concerned, amen, the upkeep of, of, of the house, hallelujah, uh, and all spiritual works. Uh, the Bible says that the deacon did likewise, pass on the other side, verse 33, but a certain Samaritan as he journeyed came where he was, and when he saw him, he had what? He had compassion on him, and went to him, and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. Verse 35. And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee, my God. Which now, and, and this is the question Jesus is asking, which now of these there, which now of these three, thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? Hmm. And he said, he that showeth, what? He that showeth mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, go and do thou likewise. He said, go and do thou likewise. Your neighbor thinks of God is anyone who is in need of your mercy. Huh. You get that? Let me say it again. Your neighbor is anyone, hallelujah, who is in need of your mercy. The Bible mentioned that Jesus said, hello, go and do Likewise. Now let me help you to understand this. Remember, the lawyer asked the question, what must I do? Hello, to inherit eternal life. And since I was strange enough, my God, hey, strange enough, as Jesus is helping him to understand, why would Jesus use church people? Jesus could have used another, um, hmm, he could have used something else, you know. But he went straight to church people. Yes, it's so bad. Because church people are supposed to be nice people. Thank God all of us are nice. Nobody will say amen. Only oh, nice. Thank God all of us are nice. But it is quite alarming, my God, to see. That Jesus would use church people and he started with a priest. One that's supposed to have mercy. The Bible showed us that the priest failed the test. The pastor failed the test. The man of God failed the test. It went up to the deacon now, Levite. He did a little better. He, at least he come and look. And he, he went, you see, a stranger. Samaritan. Because the Samaritan and the Jews were at war. A stranger came, looked, my God, and realized, mm -mm, I have to do something. Showed mercy. Then Jesus said to the lawyer, he said, hello, I want you now, hey, thank you for that, with this revelation to go and do likewise. And in doing so, favor son going to follow you. Favor daughter going to follow you. Not only from me, but also from man. We read that, didn't we? Favor from God and man. We're going to see a way. Mm -hmm. Who we have to forgive. Who we have to be kind to. Hey, Lord of mercy, it is real God when you see individuals that you know don't like your head. And you still have to help them out. Somebody talk to me. It, 
It's hard. When you watch something like it, it feels so holy. But you know, it's the truth. It's real hard when you know this person don't like the best born in you. And I have to say, good morning, and to smile. It's hard, my God. Hallelujah. When you see those that you know stabbing you behind your back, and they're hungry and they have to go and get them something to eat. My God, hallelujah. Your right side does me say, man, let them dead. And your left side say, no, go and get them. There's a fight in the body. The Bible says, son, daughter, be merciful. You hear what I'm saying? Because mercy, my God. Hey, thank you, Father. Mercy is something that, 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 that the natural man can't understand. You hear what I'm saying? They look at it as being weak. But no, you continue to do well. The Bible says, thank you, Father, hallelujah, to continue doing well. Continue doing good because in due season, you will get your reward. You might be crying right now. You might be crying because it's hard to demonstrate the mercy that you already demonstrated. And it is being taken for granted. Go and see daughter continue. A senior, a, a, a senior, a senior son, a senior daughter. Hello, I'm taking records. In due season, you will be rewarded. Let them laugh. Let them laugh. Let them mock you. In due season, son, don't give up. Keep on, keep on doing good. You hear me this morning, saints of God? Thank you, Father. I want to share another scripture with you very quickly. Matthew chapter 5. Mm, my God. Matthew chapter 5. Verse 7. And this one tops it off. This one tops it off. It says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. <laughs> you hear that? It says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. You know what it is to obtain mercy? To obtain something is to have. You get me? To obtain something is to receive. It's yours now. The Bible makes mention, blessed are the merciful. Hallelujah. Because in due season, ah, you're going to what? Obtain also mercy. You see what I'm saying, saints of God? Hallelujah. Saints, saints, get this. Mercy brings forth harvest. Mercy is something that is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a spiritual, uh, can you find the, the right word? But it's, 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 it's a spiritual thing that, that we can't understand. Why it is, God will say, thank you, Father. Pray for those who despitefully use you. What kind of mathematics says that? It's 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 weird. Hallelujah. When when God could say to us, love those who hate you. What kind of mathematics is that? Show mercy to them. We can't understand that. But we read where Almighty God said. He said, don't live without being merciful. And that's where we read, where it said, to what? To bind it around your neck. Imagine that. Let it be a part of you. As I get ready to, 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 to close, I need to share this with you. Thank you, Father. Ah, being merciful, being merciful, being merciful. I, I, I remember in Tobago, I was driving. Thank you, Father. And since about a while I was driving, I was driving in a back road here, you know, and this 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 woman was coming out of her 
a driveway, reversing. And I don't know what was on her mind, what she was thinking, but she just rushed out, reversing. Or maybe she must have mashed the gas or the brakes or something, you know. And hit the back of my vehicle, BAM! Where 